it is so good to see people using ai for useful purposes in this video i am going to show you a nifty little tool called as ai renamer which has just been created as you can see on its github repo it is a small node.js based cli tool that uses free models from olama and you can use any model from olama to rename files in a specified directory with the help of ai it goes through your content and then rename the files accordingly this is a node.js based tool so make sure that you have node and npm or npx is installed on your system you can use it on windows linux mac wherever your node.js is present the installation and usage is same so let's get cracking and try to get it installed on our local system and then we will try it out on a few of our own files before i do that let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable price i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus so do check them out also as i mentioned we will be using olama make sure that you already have olama installed if you don't know what olama is and how to install it please search the channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos on the topic but just for a quick intro, Olama is one of the easiest and quickest way to run and download models locally on your system in quantized version. If you want to install it, simply click on download and then if you are using Windows, just download the XE. If you are using Linux, just click here, copy paste this command on your operating system and that should install Olama there. I already have it installed. Let me take you to my local VM where I am running this Ubuntu 22.04. And I have this NVIDIA card of NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Let's first create a Conda environment where we will be putting everything separate. And I would highly recommend you to have Conda installed because that is not going to impact your system's installations. Okay, so you see that Conda is installed. Everything looks good. Let me clear the screen. Let me also first show you my node version and then npm version so i have latest version of node and npm installed and if you don't know how to install it again please search the channel it's very easy and you should be able to install it quite quickly okay so that is done let me clear the screen let me now show you my olama if i do olama list these are all the models which are running if you have installed the olama with the command which i just showed you on their website which you will be just pasting it here and then if you want to download a model such as llama 3 all you need to do is to do o llama o llama 3 and that is going to download and serve the model on your local system okay so it's all done for me so let me clear the screen and now let's git clone the repo of ai renamer and i'm going to also put the link to it in video description let's do it and that is done okay before i take you into that repo let me show you a few of the sample files which i already have put in on my local system so these are a few of the files for example this fgipb i just uh, randomly rena uh, renamed it so if i just show you this is the text file which contains my own personal data and then these are a few other files for readme.txt i just re, uh, renamed it to redmi.txt and similarly this is a yaml file so just i will be applying this tool with the help of olama model and you can select any on this folder my files and then see how it renames these files okay so let's go to that ai runners directory a renamer directory sorry and then in order to get it installed all you need to do is to run this command which is going to install it globally with the help of npm so let me start it let's wait for it to get installed and that's already done and the usage is quite simple for example if you want to see what options are available you can simply go with the help switch and it is showing you all the options which are available for example with ai dash renamer you can 
see the version of this and then you can with dash m switch you can set the model for example if you want to uh, use llama 3 you can simply go with llama 3 here or phi 3 or whatever you like and then if you want to set the characters in the file name just like 20 15 25 you can also do that as you can see and of course you can set um, the case of your file name lowercase uppercase or pascal case with the help of that dash c switch and as soon as you uh, you know enter this a dash rename dash m llama 3 you can see that it has uh, told us that it has set the model to llama 3 let me clear the screen here now if you want to rename the files all you need to do is to just do a dash renamer and the pass to your files so let me run it so as soon as you press enter you see it has chosen the model llama 3 chosen case kebab case and then chosen characters are these and it has renamed this to Fahad Mirza story that is correct that is my personal information it has renamed readme to google protobuf of binary text that is correct and then again it has renamed test yaml to content config.txt how amazing is that and of course you can switch the model by that dash m switch or you can change the case too so let's try out that change casing one and if you want to see which cases are available all you need to do is to go with a dash renamer help and then you can do ai dash renamer dash c and then you can just set it to maybe <clears throat> um, snake case let's try out what snake case is press enter the case has been set to this and now if you do that ai ren renamer again it has chosen the model and then you can see that it has it, it is it has made it snake this has a background and then it has changed it to this one and of course you can jumble up these and then you can change the case accordingly and as i mentioned earlier you can even change the um, number of characters so a, a renamer dash x and then you can maybe just say it uh, 10 and now if you rename it let's see what it does now you see so it has shrunk the size of those file names how good is that really cool stuff so you see innovation has no limit here it's a free tool open source tool all the code is available if you want to learn it is running by using um, the free models from olama you're not paying anything for it so this is how good this is and this is where i love it that just instead of creating yet another chatbot people are really going out and creating these little nifty tools which are very very useful and just imagine renaming thousands of files you don't have to buy any tool you can simply install this tool and then just use it anywhere so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching